It's one of the most challenging times in my life is uh, I was told that um, I may not get to play with my kids and by the time I was 30 I'd maybe be in a wheelchair because my legs just weren't working the way they were supposed to. And, and, uh, and it was kind of a joke but it was kind of real. And I was 23 years old, I'm laying on my back at the football room and the doctor looks at me and he goes, you're going to need your knee replaced. And 23 years old. And so I went in for an experimental surgery at the University of Minnesota to do something that the surgery they no longer do, but they, uh, they implanted a uh, cadaver implant into a trochlear groove of my femur to see if we could provide more stability and cushion in my knee. And, um, and that was the end of my career. It basically, it was the end of sports for me um, at any kind of level. And uh, But I didn't know what I was signing up for. I didn't realize that I was going to lose the use of my leg for a year. I thought it was my only path and only option. And, and the truth is, it's one, of the, it's one of the greatest things that happened to me now, 20, 20 some years later. But at the time, um, I realized something that, you know, when you're on your back, I was in, literally in a CPM for 90 days, 10 hours a day. It was an experimental surgery. I got the long, I got the long part of it. And then basically I was on crutches for six more months. And then I went to a cane and the prescription after that, there's a limp, like that was my protocol. And uh, there was no rehab uh, that was strength driven. So it was really, it was really a hard time. But I learned something about myself is that it's when I really put together these you know, pillars of life, right? And these have been written by, by numerous people, but you have your physical body, right? You have your emotional, spiritual, and then I call it the chemical, biochemical body. Um, and I mean, physical is like, I was a person that was, exercise meant everything to me. I, if I didn't exercise, like life didn't matter. That's how I felt at the time. I was young. Uh, I didn't have kids yet. Um, and so it, it was everything to me. And then I got taken away from me um, by partly my choice and partly, you know, the doctor's recommendation. And I realized how insufficient I was in my emotional state. How that if exercise is so important to me, well, what happens if it's gone? What happens if it's taken away? Who am I then? And it was, uh, it was looking in the mirror wasn't easy. It was one of those things where you realize that, that, you know, there wasn't much more to me. And I realized I needed to grow in a lot of other ways. I needed to grow emotionally. I needed to grow my relationships. I needed to grow spiritually. I needed to understand, you know, maybe why I was so addicted to exercise and what am I missing in my, in my life. And, and, uh, it was an eye opener for me. It started me on a path and a journey to understand, uh, that I needed to find a better truth of who I was and that my physical fitness, my sports, athletics didn't define me as who I was. And it just, it, it helped me immerse myself into education, into the human body, into understanding people better. And I rehab my leg, I still rehab my leg, but I went on a quest for almost 15 years to rehab my leg, to get it back so I could function uh, relatively normal. Um, and now that's the least of my worries physically, least of my worries mentally. And it's been a big blessing in disguise that, that I had this surgery because it helped me really mold me to become who I am today and helping people around the world live the best life they can live. And without that experience, you know, I, I don't think I would have the relatability to most people. I don't think I would understand people the way I do. Um, and so I'm just truly grateful to lose my leg for a year, lose the function of my leg and to go through those challenges because on the other side of a challenge is a great opportunity to impact yourself, impact others, and, and lead by an example of improving who you are as a person. And, and not one thing should ever define you as a person. Um, so you have many many truths and many strengths that you can accomplish. And you just gotta keep working on all, all variable, variables of, a, of it. So when one door closes, another one opens. And so be optimistic on, on your challenges today because tomorrow, 